really uh, impressed with the GoPro. It takes really good photos and stuff, but our video, but that battery issue. Uh, is there one you can buy that's more expensive that has a bigger, better battery? No, you have to buy more batteries. So when I was looking into it, I, I bought two batteries and a charger. That way I can keep it charged and then, then I don't have to do this. Because this really heats up the actual camera to let it go and then to do this at the same time. I don't think it's good for the batteries. You think it burns the battery? Yeah, yeah. It messes with the battery memory. You know how battery, you charge it and it remembers the full yeah. charge when you do stuff always like this. Always charge. Well, always do full charge. Yeah. I had a cell phone for seven years with the same battery. <laughs> That's incredible. And it had, I got it from my friend who, who died, and it, it all I was laughed because it lights up, right? So I have this battery now, 15 years, right? Haven't charged it in 10. And if we're talking about Ken, all those lights start going <laughs> on that thing. And it's just like, this is too weird. See, that's why I used to listen to Coast to Coast with Art Bell. It's because he would have people on there that talked about stuff like that. About how somebody passed away and then uh, they'd be in their house by themselves and the phone would ring. And then it sounded like... Well, I've been hearing things like falling that. in the house since Molly. And the cats sound asleep at my feet, so it's not that. So, unless it's mice doing belly flops off the counter, <laughs> you know. Well, that one that's in the place with us, you uh -huh. can hear him breathing, you can hear him sniffing around. Really? No. Yeah, so he's my, big enough. My, my ears aren't there. That, that's a rat, then. Yeah, he's totally a rat, and he's, he's getting into stuff, and I have to chase him out of the place. and. <laughs> well, we'll set a trap for him tonight and see what we can come up with. If it's by the trash bag over there, he'll be at that trash bag about 10.30. They are creatures of habit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's a little bit of rice in them. Uh, yeah, well, I'll just stick a blob of peanut butter on the trigger plate and set the cage. You'll hear it go off. <laughs> and then we'll just stun them and feed them to... In the morning. So this is the road? No, keep on going around. Yeah, yeah. But that one goes back to Blade Park, huh? Yep, that's the one go. Yeah, that's the one that goes back to the store. So if I went left and went to that cul sac with the dirt road, that's that? Oh, okay. Alright. So instead of turning it at my street from the community building, if you go straight, you come out there. This is the trailhead part. It's the spot that I'm seeing. From here, it's four miles or something. Ooh, bathrooms there? Where well, they got a campsite here too, or what? They got an information center over on this side and a couple of good pullouts. like it when it's uh, overcast looking for animals or when it's uh, sunny? I like it when it's overcast. They're cooler. See them easier. They're not trying to escape the hot sun. Here we are in the afternoon. Yeah. You know, we have potential for some rain clouds, so a few things so be, might be moving. Normally they move a little later. Oh, that's cool. But with this overcast cloud and being a weekend, I figure they might be out. Yeah, because it is a little bit cooler. It might fool them a little bit, thinking that it's already starting to switch, the weather's starting to switch. Yeah, well, I've had a couple people said... Is it all downhill from here? Excuse me? All downhill from here? Pretty much. Okay. Get some tight turns and some tunnels. Yeah, I'll just keep it in second gear so we don't grab that little past 25. The Palisades way back there? Uh-huh. You see that that tall mountain on the cliff face? 
That's Garfield. That's the edge of Palisade. Oh, over there? Yep. Why do they call that Garfield? This is what they call it, Garfield. Because it looks like it's laying down like a cat or something. Like when I lived in Hanalei, they used to talk about Puff the Magic Dragon because it was the whole bay. Yeah, I'm sure that was called Garfield long before Garfield was around. Okay, so like somebody's last name. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Seven, eight feet long. Thick. Yeah, well, Eastern, I've done my training in the southeast. Yeah. And Eastern Diamondbacks, which is the largest one. And even worse, huh? Yeah, yeah, somebody at Three Rivers has a, um, from Texas, has a, uh, a rattlesnake from there. And it's it's freaking like 13, 14 feet long. Yeah, that's a Diamondback. Big old southern bitch. Probably a Western. It could, probably, could be an Eastern if it's from the eastern I, side of texas i'm not exactly sure what part of texas i just know they got it, the skin hanging up with its head and everything still it's huge because everybody's like did you catch that here <laughs> yeah we caught this in the backyard right here <laughs> yep. keep people out of their pond the people talk about catching 23 pound rattlesnakes Whew. and my 10 foot ball was just about 20 pounds so they were a lot heavier. Yeah, my cousin had a boa and it um, it snuck out one night and never came back. It was about... They do that. It was about four years old, so I don't know if it was trying to I find lost, a mate or... I lost mine for a day or two. Yeah, the first time it did it, it popped back up like six months later. Like it hibernated or something and it came back up out of the trailer. And, so that's what they thought the next time that it left, but it never came back, so. It died somewhere. Yeah, either it made its way out into the field and a tractor plowed it, or it found its new home somewhere along the river. Yep. We had alligators in the river a couple of years ago. No shit. <laughs> yeah, people let them go up in Palisade. And what the fuck's wrong with those came, people? They came down the, the river. See if there's any ram. Ah, right there. there behind us. He's coming across the street. Damn. You want to pull over? He's already duffed off the side. Did you want to look at him? I don't know if you want. Let these guys pass. Is what I, want. Huh? I wanted to let these guys pass right here. Oh, but he wants to stop right here. Yeah, he wants to stop here. <laughs> wants a picture of the ram. Those guys are getting a good one of it. Pull over, get your thing, and go get some. 